Hey, hi, hello there, how's it going? Hope you're doing great, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In today's video, we'll be looking at Pixelmon and specifically how to create a server for Pixelmon for you and your friends. For at least 20 people, it's free. You can use a crack version, not crack version of Minecraft. Doesn't matter. We're showing you how to do this on Eternos, a free hosting server website for Minecraft. As always, if you found this video to be helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and without further ado, let's jump straight into the content. You want to go to the Eternos website, that's the first thing I'm going to do. So you'll see that you go to eternos.org forward slash go forward slash and that's going to get you to the main login page. You just click the link below if you don't want to type that in. But uh, from here, if you don't have an account, you're going to need to create a new one. Uh, I'm going to sign up with Google, that's the way I usually do it. From here, uh, you're going to want to create a server, brand new server. I think you can only have one server, so just be aware of that. You might want to create multiple accounts if you want to have multiple servers. I'm going to click create a server. Now, this is my address uh, for my server. It's wallymoto underscore dot eternos dot me. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now, what you end up getting is this main page, the server page um, that shows that you're offline. It shows the software is vanilla and version 18.2. Now, Pixelmon, I'm um, be using uh, Reforge, I believe. Uh, there's two versions, Generation Reforged. I'm be using Reforged. Uh, both of them are 12.2, I believe. Um, so this isn't going to fly. And you also need Forge. So let's go ahead and change this by going to Software, click Change, and go to Forge right here. Now, here you'll select the Forge version that you want. Uh, this is very, very important that you uh, download the right Forge. Um, what I mean by that is you need the Forge uh, that's on your computer uh, to match the Forge that's on this Eternos website. So on my Minecraft, you notice I have Forge version 14.23.5.286 and, and some some stuff. Uh, yeah, 2860. Okay, so I'm gonna need that. Um, so 14.23.5.860. I think this is the one. Uh, now this is just the latest version of 12.2, so it's pretty easy for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Now what you wanna click is reinstall. What that means, it's gonna reinstall Minecraft with this Forge version. Currently it's like vanilla 18 point whatever so that's what that means so click reinstall click yes reinstall and you should be good to go here the next thing we want to do is install the mods i'm going to type pixelmon pixelmon reforge again there's generation reforged doesn't really matter i'm going to click forge because that's the one i'm playing with now here you have to select the correct version uh, of Pixelmon that's on your computer as well. So what I mean by that is that you'll notice that the Pixelmon on my computer is uh, 8.4.0 and that is this one right here. So I'll go ahead and download this. Now that's the only mod you need to install to configure Pixelmon online for your server. Now I am gonna install a few other things. Um, I'm gonna install the journey map so I have a map and I know where I'm going. I'm also gonna install the camera mod, which I like to do because then you can make it a little, you know, Pokemon um, snap type feel. You can take pictures. And then Optifine, you don't need on the server. That's just a client side thing. So you don't need to install that uh, specifically on the server. So, so the next steps I'm gonna do is just download the journey map and the camera mod. If you're not interested in that, just go ahead and skip to the next step. I think I have this camera mod. Go to journey map. Right here journey map now just click server over here it'll get you back to the main page so before we go ahead and turn this on i just want to make sure that you know that you can go to your configure your server uh, option right here which is a little gear and here's where you get all the settings uh you can see that you have 20 people playing uh you can have more than that the game mode is survival difficulty is easy um cracked version this means if you turn this on people that have cracked versions of minecraft can play as well um, again, good thing to know if you want to do that. Uh, this is the server address. You saw that on the main server page. So let's go back there. Okay, so we're finally ready to turn on the server. You simply do that by clicking the start power button here. Click yes. Now this will take some time. So just be patient. It might take like, you know, five minutes or something. So again, be patient. All right, so we're online. You can see we have this plus sign. It says we're online. This is the address you're gonna need. Yours will be different than mine, obviously, but mine is wallymoto underscore turnos me. I'm gonna copy this, uh, and I'm gonna use that when I open up Minecraft. All right, so back into Minecraft. Uh, be sure you have the correct version of Forge, like I showed you earlier, and just click play. Now, once you open up Minecraft, you click multiplayer, click add server, Call this Pixelmon or something. Server address this is the address we grabbed from the Eternos website. All right, so I'm just splitting the screen here. I just want to show you that the server address you add in here is the same one on your Eternos website. You just simply copy this and paste it here. So I'm gonna control V and I will click done. All right, 
So you'll see that there's a green check mark over here. It says zero out of 20 people are playing. The green check mark just means that it's online. So go ahead and click into this join server. Here we go. Just click this. I'm going to click who's my starter Squirtle. And there we go. Just note that I do have shaders on. You may not have shaders. So just kind of be aware of that. Now, if you want to change up the way this looks, again, this is a client side thing, but you can go to options, resource packs, uh, and go ahead and click that. Using resource packs, you can go ahead and change the environment. Like, look how nice this looks now. This kind of feels like it's a Nintendo feeling game. This is a, you know, Pokemon inspired uh, resource pack and it's pretty beautiful. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.